In this screencast I'll show you another way to use the simple heat exchanger in Pro 2. So on the right hand menu click heat exchangers then give a single click to the simple heat exchanger and then another single click on the flow sheet to place that into our process flow diagram. Then we need to connect an inlet stream to the hot side and an outlet stream for the hot side as well. We'll specify some information for the input stream. So we'll specify this as being 1000 K moles per hour of water. The temperature for this stream we will make 350 Kelvin at atmospheric pressure. Okay. Now we can specify some information for the process conditions of the heat exchanger and for the process stream on the hot side we've got S1 as the inlet and S2 for the outlet. On the cold side we will use a utility stream so we have to check this box here. For this example we use water with an inlet temperature of 288 Kelvin and an outlet temperature of 298 Kelvin. So we'll, we'll allow a 10 degree temperature rise of our cooling water. The specification of this is going to be that the hot product temperature will be 320 Kelvin, so we're cooling our process stream down from 350 to 320. Click OK on that. And we'll just check the configuration. There's going to be a counter current configuration of the two flows for the cooling water and the process stream so they're going to be flowing in opposite directions to each other there'll be two passes on the tube side and one pass on the shell side okay everything's now been specified and we can run the simulation and if we review the data for stream S2 we can see that that has now gone to a temperature of 320 Kelvin and of course, if we review this, the data for stream S1, that started at 350 since we specified that as the inlet temperature. If we review the data for the heat exchanger, we can see that this requires an overall duty, an overall rate of heat transfer between the two fluids of 2.2615 times 10 to the 6 kilojoules per hour. And that duty is the starting point of a more detailed design for the heat exchanger. Overall, that is an alternative way of using the simple heat exchanger in Pro 2.